The biggest high school game of the season to date will be played at Waterburger Field tomorrow. The Cal Allen Wildcats are getting ready for an epic rematch with the Sinton Pirates. Sports director Chris Thomason joins us live from Cal Allen tonight ahead of that big matchup. Hey there, Chris. Hey, Rudy and Leslie, and good evening, Coastal Bend. Yeah, it was an epic showdown in Laredo last year. Steve Chapman's Cats falling to Sinton 2-1 in the region final, but this year, hopefully, Barring weather tomorrow night should be good, but we get it right here in the Coastal Bend. Now, it's expected to be another matchup of aces like it was last year. Cal Allen lefty Justin Lampkin opposing sentence Blake Mitchell. The two dueling to a 1-1 tie heading into extras before the Pirates broke through against the bullpen. I had a chance to talk with Chapman, who just became Texas's all-time wins leader over the weekend, and senior Braden Sprinzel about the Cats' mindset heading into this massive showdown at Waterburger Field tomorrow. First of all, we got to get base runners on their, their guy, you know, and uh, we, he is an outstanding pitcher if they throw the Mitchell kid. And, and actually, they have four four or five arms that that, uh, that any of them could go and, and uh, do a good job. So uh, it's going to be the idea of finding ways to get on the base and finding ways to move them over and to get them home. So it's going to, it's it, to me, it's going to come down to that. We know what Sin has. They know what we have. We know what we're going into, you know. Having playing them in round five last year, we know what the atmosphere is going to be like. So we feel pretty good going into this game. You know, it's going to be exciting because of the fact that it's South Texas baseball at its finest. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll uh, uh, hold up our end of the deal. All right, so Sinton number one, Cal Allen number three, that one game playoff tomorrow, 7 o'clock at Waterburger Field. The Hooks tell me burn tickets are still available, over 6,000 expected tomorrow night. The teams are ranked number one and two, respectively, in the coaches' poll. The winner would play next Wednesday afternoon in the 4A state semis at the University of Texas's Dishfalk Field.